Welcome Capricorn to your singles love reading for May. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to jump right into your reading and see what's coming through. Um, if you are new, we are going to use the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies. So cards tarot for the main spread and then clarify some of the cards. At the end of the reading, I am going to pull the love oracles um, to see what this person has to say to you and how they feel. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what's coming through for Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in reverse, Six of Swords, the High Priestess, Five of Pentacles, the Empress and the Three of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Something could be feeling stuck or maybe not going as expected here. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's more of going, feeling like something's going against the Wheel of Fortune, like after like feeling a lot of setbacks, right? Ups and downs. All right, let's see what's coming through for you guys. Oh, we have the Strength card coming in with the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess and the Challenge twice. Now, your intuition is trying to tell you something, and it's very important. Now, this is going to be a, a super, maybe something you don't want to hear, but I feel it's best to hear because it'll kind of help you with this, okay? I feel. Um, that's what tarot's for, right? to help us. What's this eight of wands, the will of fortune, the star, the two of wands, the three of... All right. There's a feeling that things may go, be going stagnant with an energy that you both have high hopes for each other. But at the same time, we have the double here um, with an energy of not really committing with the king of wands. Now, the king of wands in reverse is more of an energy of really just focusing on themselves and their needs, not really putting in the action, which can make you feel like things are stuck and not moving in the direction that you would hope. Your high priestess is here in reverse. So that is huge because the high priestess is all about you having an inner knowing and a secret knowledge, right? You having the wisdom, you being psychic. Um, but it, Maybe you're self-guessing your intuition. I'm feeling like you're more going based off of what this energy might be doing than listening to your own intuition. The five of rings is stating that this is feeling left out in the cold. We do have an empress here. Um, the empress is more of like, like wifey material. This could be a mother or a parent. Um, or this could be you giving unconditional love to this energy, showing them that you care, showing comfort and, you know, everything in that sort. But now I feel it's like you're at this three of swords, like something is rising within you that things are not going right, right? I feel it's taking a lot of strength to be with this energy. It's taking a lot of courage to be with this energy and patience, but it is bringing some heartbreak and loneliness for you guys, okay? The eight of swords is stating that Someone is trapped in their own perspective and they're really thinking more in the mental, this other person. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for some of you. But their energy is coming up with swords. So they're feeling trapped in the mind. They're feeling isolated and anxiety and worry here. Um, in the mutual energy, this is feeling confused and setbacks and cloudy judgment. And even this means illusions, right? Not seeing things for what they are. So I feel like there's a lot of emotions or things that are up in the air. And this person, I feel, wants to move more into calmer waters, but they're mentally conflicted, right? They're, it's showing that they want to move forward. They want to move on. But it's hard because something is keeps mentally inflicting them. They're either manipulating themselves or manipulating the situation or not being truthful with you or them or everything. Because this King of Wands is operating when they message you, I feel, or when communication comes in. It's more of like they're operating from the devil. And the devil is very slick. Like when communicating because in the page of cups is coming from emotions 
So someone is like, has that drive to contact you and seems very interesting and, you know, very caring energy. Um, you know, it, it is saying that they are coming your way. Um, they are aware of your feelings and their feelings. And this could be like an energy of just coming up either with a new idea or very curious or like, I don't know, it, like it's feeling bad intentions. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It's getting, it's, this person is getting a bit toxic. Um, here, I feel you're coming up as the peer of heart <laughs> with the strength card, right? The Knight of Pentacles is more stating that there is something here that is slow and steady and taking a while. So this is more of just kind of just going with the flow of things, but it's like feeling so lonely and heartbroken. Uh, that's the energy. And then we have the King of Wands. Let's go ahead and clarify. I'm very clear, curious the situation because when the High Priest, this is like very, very important. The high priestess is so important. And it, this also represents secrets and uh, hidden things too, right? The queen of wands is more stating that there is a feeling of the queen of wands. Um, and then we have four of wands. Somebody is conflicted with this connection because they find you very attractive and independent and sociable. And they have a lot, like I feel like this person really finds you you know, like the charismatic and optimistic. And I feel like where they're having this confliction is it's like they want to move on, but they're not coming from a honest place, right? Um, when it comes to this connection or relationship, let's get the strength card. It's everything within when they communicate something to you. It's like this and this. When they communicate something to you, the devil is there. I don't like that. The will here is in reverse because something is going off path. It might feel like a, a, a wish fulfillment, but the divine is saying like, hey, the, uh, someone's going against the universe. That's what it's saying. Like, th like this could be trying to force something here for some of you guys. Like. This is asking you not to force things, to be, to listen. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Let's get the strength card. Yeah, it's stuck in the past. Um, inability to let go. Clinging on to this person in the hopes and dreams I feel. So there's an energy of just not wanting to let this go. It's very hard mentally, emotionally to let this person go. Um, I'm not sure why you would want to let this person go. Uh, the only thing I see is that the devil's here. That's probably what, and your intuition is telling you something. So you only know. See, I'm as a reader can see what you have to let go. I, as a reader, can see the cards, but I could, I can't, I don't know why you have to let it go or why the intuition is being ignored or what's keeping secret here. Um, all I know is that your intuition, your spirit guides are trying to tell you something. Um, because they don't want you to get heartbroken. Yeah, conflict avoidance. So a lot of you guys could be trying to avoid something to keep to, so this won't end. There's some type of tension that wants to be released. but could be avoiding a conversation or something here. There's a challenge, definitely. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something could be falling apart. It's asking you to look at, take a step back and look at the bigger picture, okay? This could be fearing of the unknown or maybe not planning it all the way through or seeing something out all the way through. 
but it's kind of like playing it safe and avoiding risk with the two of wands. That's what that, that that's what that means. And the knight, the king of wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius, but I feel like it's asking you to take leadership of your life. Big picture, that's what it says, and take control. We have the king and queen. So this could be another option. Let's get this one again. Hold on. Same card. Two of wands. Plans falling apart. Fear of the unknown. Playing it safe. Avoid, avoiding risk. Six of swords. I guess that's what it is. Six of swords. Temperance in balance this person is trying to move mentally to calmer waters they are they're very attracted to you they want you in their life but there is something here that is very very imbalanced in their mind their energy's off they're feeling out of control they're feeling like they're losing a grip here within this connection or within their life in general this is feeling very restlessness so there's something going on five of swords Releasing pain, forgiving and recovering, apologies. Repressing emotion. Somebody's definitely keeping something in. Wow. They're going through a lot and they're returning to troubled waters. So unable to move on. They feel trapped and stuck. King of Wands. That's them. The King of Wands is coming up everywhere. So what I'm feeling is that this person, you know, you could, they're, they have blocked intuition, okay? High Priest is coming up reverse again for the third time, okay? Third party possibly, or you just have a lot of fun with this person. Ten of Cups, oh, there could be a family trouble or a disconnect or imbalance within love or breakup or arguments, bad choices, detachment. There's a lot going on here. I feel with this Ten of Wands energy, there's just way too many things this person is carrying. And they have extra responsibilities or they're feeling very stressed and exhausted. There's something going going on with this person where they're feeling burnt out. Um, they could be very upset on how their life is playing out outside of you or not really telling you everything here, okay? Because there is something that is being repressed. Um, is it repressed? Yeah, they're not being honest. Yeah, they're very unhappy in the outcome. So things may be slowing down for you guys as plans could be falling apart here. But justice is coming in when it comes to love. So with this Ace of Cups, it's saying there's no love. There's rep repressed emotions. There's a feeling of being let down, of being disappointed, unfulfilled, and unloved. There's a feeling of coldness and emptiness and emotional loss. Justice is saying that there's a dishonesty and unfairness that is happening within this situation. It could be legal issues, lawsuits, or just a lack of accountability within this connection that is leading to a lot of unhappiness in the outcome. Now, you're, the only way I feel to avoid this situation is to listen to your intuition on what it's telling you. What is it telling you? Um, because this is a temporary letdown, I feel, with the sun, because no matter what, you're going to pick yourself back up because you already kind of know what this is. Okay, so it's like it's not going to be a big surprise because there's no tower coming in, but it is going to bring a lot of sadness. So I feel like to avoid the only way this can be avoided, I feel, is if the intuition you start maybe meditating or finding figuring out what is it that I need to see that I'm not seeing or what is it that I know that I really need to, you know, see now. Right. OK, I never had a reading like this before. <laughs> To be honest, I never had three high priestess in reverse. Um, let's go ahead and see the what this person has to say to you because I feel there's a lot here that this person has to say. I wish I could take it back. I miss you. You're the love of my life. I check on you from afar. This person could be having financial problems. This is the end. I feel empty without you. I want to work things out and I'm not ready. It's saying I'm not ready. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have a power. 
you instinctively know what is right for you. You do, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. I might just put this as your thumbnail because that is that is exactly what's happening. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to walk away at any time. And I feel like that's why the universe is like, hey, we're nudging you over here. <laughs> you know, we're nudging you. Listen to us. Um, all right, Capricorn, I'm gonna leave it here. I really hope this message helped. I hope I did not offend any, anyone. That is not my intentions. My intention is to help and bring things into, you know, awareness that maybe you're not aware of. But it's all about the cards and the spirit guides and what message they want to bring out to help you, okay? So tarot is to help. It might not always be what we want to hear, but it's always good to go within, okay? And it's all about growth and evolving and learning lessons and understanding ourselves. And I truly believe there is no um, right or wrong when making decisions because we're always growing and learning, okay, guys? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. I really hope you enjoyed this message. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.